it's such every a little detail, man. All, even those little, you know, the technique to do all the oh, yeah. finishing. This one pretty much takes well. the cake when it comes to, you know, level of detail and authenticity. Get a little hat shot. Just... Well, hello everyone. How are you doing today? That's <laughs> right. Good to see you again. And there will be the first. A wand of vine, ten and three quarter inches, dragon heartstring. The <laughs> perfect fit. Oh my goodness! I gave you chills. Oh, right. oh. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> It's really intimate and very much like the film. Yeah. There's a little back in and the eye falls out, rolls down. We've never had these. I do like licorice in it. Oh my god, that's so oh, yeah. good. Are you eating this? This place is fantastic now, you know. Stuart. I love this. I could be at home right now. I really could. Where's <laughs> home? <laughs> you got it on the nose as well. <laughs> Fully in. Fully. Hey! This was in Lupin's classroom. Yeah, exactly. The dragon sky. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Having been there literally a couple of weeks ago showing him around, it looks exactly the same. Who wants to go for a ride? Yep. I do. I really <laughs> that was unreal. That was unreal. How did I, they do that? That I have no idea how they did that. A film set has a cut-off point. You know, you, you're only using a particular section of it, but this is a completely immersive environment. and. Um, it's really kind of amazing, and I've always been a huge fan of the book. So even aside from the fact that I've been part of making the films, you know, just for me, this is such a, a pleasure and a, a delight seeing all of these things that I read about come to life. Being here was actually really moving and emotional for me because I know that the sets are going to come down, but this will be here forever. I was not expecting to feel like this. I really wasn't, and uh, I've been blown away. The detail that's so wonderful about it. Every single, every single um, bit of stone is perfect. Every, everything's so beautifully made. It's really quite. But uh, Emma and I had a rather emotional moment actually, because it was kind of like bits of your life suddenly, you know, um, made real. Yeah, I think this place has gone far beyond anything that I expected for uh, for any any place in the world to, you know, they said they're going to build the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter and we kind of thought, okay, that'd be, that'd be interesting to see, we'll see what happens, but this has completely blown away any expectations I've, I've had at all. Even to the point where you go into Zonko's shop and, st and there's stuff in there where props in Fred and George's store, which when they were props in our store were just boxes. With we weren't allowed to touch that was them. It. Well, there wasn't even anything inside it, and yet you open it up and there's a fully working toy and stuff in there, what guys can take home with them. And then you just keep walking further and further close to this castle, which is huge. And it's just, wow. Well, I think as soon as you walk through this arch here, it's just 
let yourself go with it, really, just because it's so it's so immersive, and you really as soon as you walk through this arch, you're the guy, you know, the the, the, the train conductor greets you here, and, and that's it. You're in the world. Then I think you have to just just let yourself go with it. Go go to the sweet shop. Go buy some jokes. Go help let Ollivander pick your wand out and stuff, and just be a kid. Like, obviously, the kids are gonna love it, but if you're if you're my age and older, just just be a kid. Remember what it was like, and just enjoy it.